When Evernote began rolling out the new Evernote in September of 2020, they promised that this was not the end of the journey, but the start. They made a commitment to users like us that the new code base rebuilt from the ground up to be more stable and reliable, and they were laying the groundwork for the new features and faster innovation in the future. Evernote rebuilt the new desktop apps to make it easier for you to create notes quickly, customize them however you like, and instantly find them when you need them. And while the new apps may look a little different from what you've used to, we've taken care to ensure that they still feel like Evernote and work the same way wherever you go. Let's check out the new Evernote home. Evernote is proud to unveil Home, the first in a series of powerful new features being introduced this year. Home is a brand new way to start your day in Evernote. A one-stop dashboard that puts the information you need front and center, neatly organized and instantly available, so you can stay on top of your day without feeling overwhelmed. This is rolling out to Mac, Windows and Evernote web customers over the next few weeks with iOS and Android to follow. Evernote Home gives you instant access to your most relevant content. Your important notes, tags and shortcuts are ready and waiting when you open Evernote, making Home the fastest way to get to the things that matter to you. And since there's more than one way to organize your content, Home gives you the freedom to shape your Evernote experience and see the information you want the way you want it. Evernote Basic and Plus customers will see three default widgets when they open Home. Here is the first look of Evernote Home. Before I go into more details, let's see the different ways you can customize. Use the Customize button here and you can add tags to Home like I'm adding tags here. I can change the sizes of my widgets between small, medium, and large as per my convenience. Even if you wish to change the background, simply go on the top right or add any pictures or even add your own. Come back and hit done. And finally, feel free to move your widgets while you are in the customize mode. Notes. Select recent notes to quickly pick up where you left off with any project or even choose suggested notes and let Evernote surface the content you need, even if you haven't touched it in a while. Jot down your quick notes on your scratch pad before you forget it. You can leave it there forever, erase it or convert it to a note at any time. Since you probably do more than just write notes, this widget shows you all the rich content you've recently captured in your Evernote account. Now you can cut the clutter and go straight to your most recent, like web clips, images, documents, audio, and even emails. Similar to the notes widget, you can find clarity by choosing to view either your recently used notebooks or the notebooks Evernote thinks you'll find most relevant. Is there a note you use every day? Perhaps a to-do list or a contact list. No need to search it for it every time. Pin it in home instead so it's always at your fingertips. You can view it right from your home dashboard or easily open it in the editor to make changes. If tags are your favorite way to organize in Evernote, you will love this widget that shows you most frequently used tags at one convenient place so you don't need to switch screens to find them. Maybe you prefer to tame your Evernote content using shortcuts. This widget shows your favorite shortcuts right from your home dashboard. Just click on a shortcut to instantly open that note or notebook. So that's all for today. Here's the question. Which feature did you like the most? Leave a comment below and also provide any suggestions in case you are facing any issues. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe and support this channel. I will see you soon.